everyone. Today I thought we'd try something new. I haven't even ever done it myself, so it's going to be a surprise for me too. We're going to make little um, pounded, they're called flower prints, like stamps, using these cute little flowers from my garden. So you get some flowers or leaves, you will need some paper towel, four sheets of paper towel, a hammer, this used to belong to my grandfather, a piece of felt, and a rubber band, or I've got a hair tie. What we're going to do is cover the hammer with the felt and then wrap the hair tie around it or the elastic band so it becomes soft. Then I've got a nice bit of watercolour paper, just a piece of copy paper and a, um, a cutting board. So let's start. What we need to do first is put down a nice bit of watercolour paper and then we choose a little flower. I'm going to go with this, this cute one. Okay, we put it face down, very gently. I'm going to put this piece of paper on top. Okay, now one, two, three, four pieces of paper towel. It's got to be bigger than the flower or the leaf. Okay, now the fun starts. I can't even remember where it is now. So we just start just lightly tapping around it. This is a this flower's towards the end of its life and uh, it's been giving me lots of joy in the garden. And I'm just making sure that I'm getting the right spot. Given it a good and even kind of press. And for good luck. Okay, put my hammer down. Take the paper away. Time for the big reveal. I'm just going to do a little sneaky look first. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, well, you can see that the flower is definitely flattened. Now let's try to peel it off and see if we've made this print. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. It's amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful. tried that on paper and it works beautifully let's try it on some material I've got a beautiful old tablecloth here I'm going to try nice and white so I think it'll show up really well okay we'll get a nice little purple flower again thank you flower for making me happy all those months now I'm going to turn you into a print Okay, get our um, four layers of hand towel on top of that bit of paper and gently come through onto this paper extra tap for good luck okay you could probably even this is the print on the piece of paper you could even use that for something you could cut it up or you could draw on top of it now I've got the flower on the fabric oh my goodness look at that it is beautiful. 
Now you could try to iron that and then it might, it might mean that it won't wash off. We have to experiment. It's very beautiful. It could just be an artwork on its own. <music> printing using flowers and leaves from the garden. Print on some paper, try it on some material. This is cotton, but you could try doing it on some wool. See what results you get. Try this.